Right, okay guys, okay everybody, I'm back again to do another quick vid. This is a, a much bigger rig up. I've On this rig I've bypassed the um, microwave oven diodes and the whole setup should start working a lot better, a lot more. Um, this time we're going to be looking for a constant anti-gravity reading on our scale. And I've hooked up a, a, um, what's this, a LED um, this is used for a car. It's about a 20 watt LED light bulb. That's for another experiment. Just testing a secondary coil on there for uh, another experiment, which is to do with Don Smith. But nevertheless, um, we're going to get some interesting energy out of this setup here now. Right, so first thing we need to do. Yeah, it's a turn on our scale just there. And we'll wait for our scale to... to actually stabilize. And there it is. Okay, down here we've got our, our lights. There'll be... There's only about um, 100 watts of light, 200 watts of light that will light up. Only the other four bulbs will light up here. Because we're still using low power mode deliberately. Or sensitivity um, check levels. Right, this time I'm going to connect the battery terminal and uh, I'm going to leave it on there for a while. Here we go. Right, we've got our LED nearest to me here. That's our LED there. That's our spark gap over there. We look over here, we've got the light bulbs lighting up there, and here we've got our anti gravity. Um, it just went out. In fact, we've lost some anti-gravity reading there. There it is again. There comes our anti-gravity reading on the scale. Yeah, 200, 300 milliamps, milligram uh, difference. And we need to stabilise, but we've got loads of anti-gravity reading on our scale there, coming off of that capacitor, which nobody does touch. Well, I won't touch that. And she's firing away. Okay. Right, there we go. And that's all been powered by... Uh, one car battery there. Let's go right back and have a look at this. Let's drop the light in. See it in action. There it is. Okay. And uh, well, between us, there's spark gap variations. It tends to switches on and off. But uh, she's all there. Okay. Let's go back in on the anti gravity uh, measurements. There it is. And that does fluctuate based on the spark gap differences can be more stable but um, as far as we're concerned there's plenty of more enough anti-gravity there won't touch anything to make it a lot bigger on the scale for the timing the scale is timed out on us I dare not touch that to reset it while it's on and let's turn it off again turn it all off okay Right, here we go again. And we're also here. Connect this on right now. There we go. Got sparks there. Got light there. Let's look at the anti gravity readings. There they are 180, about 200, um, 200 kilograms reading there, up and down. It's all jumping about nicely. Okay, it's a big spark gap there in the middle. And uh, just a small LED here, uh, not too important, but small LED light in it here, not too important. Um, but this is just to show you we can get a continuous um, anti gravity reading. Okay, and a quick uh, look at the whole this entire circuit situation again. There's only about 100 watts coming off of those lights. It can go easily up to a thousand, but I'm not. 
then running off one car battery which needs to be charged up a lot more or I can run it directly from the mains which will be ever so bright right that's enough I'm going to shut it down for now okay 